I think style has to do with the, uh, the ways in which you're able to orient your critical intelligence, your uh, spirituality, and your sense of character. Uh, and that it's an orientation that has to do with comportment. It's how you comport yourself. It's how you move through space and time. It's the rhythm, it's the tempo. It's the, the kind of form and style, but the form and, and content, style and substance of your body. The style makes the man. Fanon said the same thing. Style, and, style and substance go hand in hand. I don't think there's any such thing as style without substance. You can have a certain kind of superficial uh, demeanor that people confuse and conflate with style. But genuine style, style do get with him. Style of Kurt Basie, style of Sarah Brown, style of Frank Sinatra, Fred is dead, the Prince, Absolutely. the Dramatics, Curtis Mayfield, you know what I mean, Jane Brown. See that's style, something, form, content, inseparable. Look at his style, the way he leans, beard, uh, his glasses, uh, he's a, uh, it's, again, it's that critical intelligence, that spirituality, and that deep sense of connecting with that kind of sensitivity to others. Style allows you to project a sense of what is outside of you and connect those, that, those things and other that are outside of you and bond you in such a way that people feel you and feel your spirit. Yeah. Well, I think style is acceptable from voice. You, know, you have to lift your voice. Uh, voice is different than an echo. If you just have an echo, that's superficial demeanor. If you have a voice, that's style. You only find your voice by coming to terms with who you are. You have to muster the courage to be. It's the most difficult thing in the world. You know, William Butler Yeats used to say it takes more courage to find out who you are, examine the dark corners of your own soul than it does for a soldier to fight on the battlefield. Pure unadulterated courage to find out who you really are. Find your voice, then you got your style, see?